Hi, this is Ijizoku, and I'll be teaching these grandeur rotations as you saw in the beginning of the video. Now, this is SPV version, not AE, so there's most likely going to be a tutorial on that. Um, this is the original version that you saw in the beginning. Yep, and this is the one that I'll be. This is the one that I've remade, and I'll show you guys the keyframes and stuff like that. And I'm also good at explaining. That's why I'm showing it. So there you go. Now it's a bit stiff, but um, the main thing is the rotations here, so we can go on to the first clip. Um, as you saw in the beginning, it's going like that. Now this one's pretty simple, you guys probably all don't know how to do this, how you put a minus on the rotate and then a positive. They click like that. This one, uh, yeah, it's a bit stiff, which is annoying. My voice isn't great, by the way, sorry. Um... Then, as you can see here, we've got the at the beginning. He his comes out the corner, so you set it to a minus thirty one point eight four. Um, then you set the X and then the Y to those settings. Now you can set them to any settings, but this is the one I did because I messed around with it for a couple of minutes. So you can stop the screen if you want and copy that. Um, do whatever you want. Okay, we're going to stop it here. I'm going to teach you how to do this, but. Now, this one is just a normal rotate with a shift Y. Here, you just make it go upwards uh, with a positive 30. It can also be lower than that. It just make sure you don't see that much motion tile. I can, I know in this one you can see it, but not much. I've also, I've also added a pinch punch on that. You can add the shutter duration like that. I just wanted to make sure you can't see some of the motion tile. And then to here, I use two blue emo curves to make it more smoother. You can, of course, just use one, but two blue emos is more smoother. There we go. So, on the this is the second blue emo. I'll go up to the first here. The first one is here. So all the way down, uh, it's set to a minus and then a positive Y. As before, because the clip before that was a negative Y. Then you go well as far as you need to. I did it this like that. I set it all to zero, and then except for this, I set it to six point what point six six seven, and then made it go up to seven in a linear fade. Now, of course, the second keyframe is always slow fade, as you can see. And then the first is always fast fade, because that's all really SVP editors live on, literally. Then for the second blermo, you basically set it all to zero and that at six. Um, the first keyframe is a linear fade to 0.5 to make it have a little bit more flow. Then the last keyframe is here, as you can see. So one minus two and 2.04, and then shift Y because it's also going up again in that Squandrous clip to minus 0.180. And I guess you get the gist of it. You can also use in a clip, say, I, I haven't used it in this clip. If you want to do a rotate, you can do minus, let's say, 20 as the rotate and then shift X, positive 100. Then on the next clip, you would do positive 20, but then you would do shift Y minus or positive 100. Because you can't do uh, opposites each time. You only do opposites for the rotates, if that makes sense. If it doesn't then DM me, I guess this is done, I suppose.